Hi, everyone. So, um, happy to see you all. And I'm so excited to have these two girls with me on stage because, um, like you all heard, four years ago, I went to SEB Pension and made a presentation. And that's what we do at WooHoo Inc. We travel all around the world, visit companies, and we talk about happiness at work. And what we do know is that what, that we do a presentation or our workshop, it changes nothing. It doesn't, but it's what people do. It's what the companies do afterwards. And I know that all our clients, all the people that we see, they have the best intentions. They all want to do it, but they don't all. Maybe they think they're too busy. They don't know that they're too busy not to do something about happiness at work. But uh, it's only some of the clients that actually succeed by doing something afterwards. So we have a saying that happiness at work is something you do. And a really good example are Christina and Tessa, just with me here on the stage. They were a part of the work group at uh, SEB Pension back in uh, 2014. And uh, I think you're a great example and you've been working hard and we want to learn from you guys what you have been doing. And um, I would actually um, say that you're the true ambassadors of happiness at work. <laughs> and, and, and you're also smiling, so that's really important because uh, I know that you've never been on the stage before. So uh, afterwards, I would all ask you all to give them a standing applause, <laughs> standing ovation, right? <laughs> so, but uh, Christina, could you maybe tell us a bit about your work group? What have, what have you been doing? How did you do it? Because it's not one of the work groups, right? No. Um, no. We established this happiness at work group in 2014. And actually, it is a part of a larger group, which is the performance group within SEB Pension. Um, the two groups has each their focus. The one that focuses on how we will uh, increase our performance uh, performance activities, and then there's us focusing on how to make happiness uh, at work. We are, I think, 10 employees, and this is including three of our top managers. We have meetings every quarter, and we are all people who really believe in happy and satisfied employees will give you these very happy, long-term relationship with your customers and clients. So you're passionate about doing this job. You're not forced to join the group. Definitely not. I volunteered. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I have a question. Why did you join? Why did you volunteer? I actually joined because I was very much interested in the work that the performance group did. And I really wanted to find a way to combine the two. How do you get a better performance, but still have the focus on you and your colleagues being happy at work? And also, I was, uh, I was rather new to SCB at the time. I think I've been there a little over six months. And I was a student. So for me, <laughs> it was also a fun thing to do beside working, beside studying, and also for the sake of network. Yes, that's why. You want to add something, Tessa? Yeah, I, I just feel like that uh, my work is my second home. I spend so many hours there, so I need to have fun at home, uh, fun at work. <laughs> yeah, I, And fun at home. Exactly, I always have fun at home. I'm thinking but, about Emiliana's slide with, am I home or am I at work? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I have fun all the time. I even uh, move things from my house into my work. So my, my office space is completely crap with all crap stuff. But private, I need private. Private stuff. But I need a home. I need a place to have fun. And so when I got the opportunity, I jumped. So and, and joining this work group, you created an, um, an actual toolbox. It's yeah. up on the screens, but you brought it with you That's today. Right yeah, we brought yeah. it with us. Could, could you share some of the initiatives that you actually t did with this toolbox? Yeah. Um, when we started the Happiness at Work group, we actually divided us into two teams. Um, we had a team who focused on initiatives that could be used for team building and department development, so they are these bigger initiatives. And we also had a team who focused on uh, these, we call them small drops of attention, small drops of happiness. And 
today, um, yeah, we needed a place to, for all these things that we made or bought, so uh, that's why we uh, came up with the toolbox <laughs> idea and we needed a place for all these yeah. stuff. So let's have a look inside on the screens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the screen. So the first thing. We, uh, will we, ha we have a few things that the girls will share that they did, some practical things that you will be able to implement from the next day you are at work. So the first one is... Yeah, that's daily jokes. Uh, we have in Denmark, we have small calendars where there's one joke each day. And we have three pension floors in the SAP house. So I, every single day I change the, uh, for a new joke at the, t at the kitchen besides the coffee machine. So people, when they get a cup of coffee in the morning, they can go and see, oh, what's the daily joke? And sometimes they are philosophical because uh, the, one, the blue one is very philosophic and he's very mind-blowing and you need to think about the stuff. But the two others are just fun, 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 fun. Uh, you share with me sometimes if you are late with the... Oh, with the, yeah. What Don't be late. Then? Don't be late because people know that it's me that are coming with the jokes. I was like... Why are you here at 8.30? You used to be here at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that is true, because when you're on vacation, sometimes yeah. I do it, and people are like, you don't get in here as early as Tessa does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. So it makes people start the day with a smile. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So the next one. That's a summer sing-along. Every summer, we found out that we want to sing in the summer, and we have two professional singers we hire every, each year, and they're actually the same two singers. And we have this great big open space from the fourth floor all the way to the ninth floor. And the pension is four, five, and six. So we actually started singing only the pension floors. And we started there singing with the acoustic, and it sounds really, really great. And people on the seventh, eighth, and ninth floor, they're fine. We want to do this as well. So we actually, every summer, we take the songs we're going to sing, and we're going to print it out and hand it over to the, the people who live from the fourth floor and up. And we have to get a, give advice on the third and the second floor because they want to participate as well. So they need to know when it's going to be. And so they're going to sing. So all the people are standing all the way up and just sing those two or three songs. And it sounds amazing. And everybody loves it. So you actually influence people outside SEB. Outside. That's amazing yeah. too, yeah. right? And it's the bank. So it's just, just that other people, yeah. it's the bank. Exactly. <laughs> That's and a huge thing. <laughs> so what we all learned today already about relatedness, relatedness and relationships, how important that is, I think that really brings people together. It does. Yeah. Big time. So let's look at the other one, because that's about when people are away from work. Exactly. <laughs> that's the vacation folder. We, we do that every year. We actually, the first year we did the folder, and the second year and so on, we just changed the pictures. And if we have a new competition each summer, we put in a new competition. Uh, and the Hawaii necklace is to symbolize when people are going on vacation. They can hang it on the screen, on the lamp, on the, on the office table. And people can see that you're actually going on vacation. It's like, oh, nice. And if people come to look for you and you see a necklace, they think, oh, she's on vacation. And the folder actually gives good advice on what to do before and after you go on vacation. You should put an out of office out um, before, the day before and the day after you go on vacation. So the day before you can clean up your mailbox and if you have any cases on the table, you can start, you can finish it or hand it over. And two days before you shouldn't take any big cases in because it's not fun to hand over to a colleague and say, ah, oh, I started this, but I can't finish it. Can you please do it to, for me? And when you get back from the vacation, use the first day to empty your mailbox, see what's in while I've been gone, and don't plan any meetings. That's really important, because if you do that, you can just, you're back in the mail. You need to start. So it's not only me that, uh, so I, I didn't prepare you on this question. I don't, don't know if, it, if you can answer, <laughs> because don't we all want to see that vacation folder and maybe copy it? We have, have it. it, yeah. So we can actually... Yes, we have it. We okay. have it both electronic and we have it with us. Wonderful. So we will share that together with the slides. Thank you, girls. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so um, then you have some... Greeting, greeting cards. cards. Yeah. Exactly. That's just the tiny green business cards. I actually have that one right here. You're allowed to tell where we got the idea from. <laughs> yeah. We have those tiny little business cards. And I actually just said, happy summer to you. And they have a white space in the back. 
So people take these in the kitchen and they write a little, uh, have a nice vacation, uh, love to see you when you get back, uh, have fun at the office. And people just write to each other, just a little, just a little token. So it could be used for gratitude that we talked about for also, everything. for appreciation, positive feedback, yeah. like everything where you want to pat your colleague on the shoulder or even yeah. your boss. Yeah, you can yeah, do that. You can use it for your boss as well, right? You can. Yeah. You can use it for everybody in the house. <laughs> and then there are different seasons. So now yeah. that was summertime. Yeah. So, but you also have an amazing, a great tradition. Yeah, we do. When it's Christmas. So I want you to share your Christmas tradition. Yeah. yeah. Every year on the 1st of December, I deliver a big tree. It's three to five meters tall. And, uh, and the only thing I actually do is deliver the tree put a foot on it and put light on it. All the decorations are done by the employees. We have big boxes with the, 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 Paper. the ornaments. Yeah. And the people are just coming and saying, oh, it's Christmas time. Oh, you put up the tree, it looks so nice. And they're gonna start hanging all the stuff on it. It's really nice. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun with, yeah. this, with the clicker, but yeah. please tell us, because I know who, who is actually the guys on the picture on the right. Yeah, that's our top managers. That's the top level management. Yeah, and, uh, and there's actually also our two singers. They are singing the, Sing Lucy's. The real singers. The real singers. They are singing Sing Lucy's, and they went all the way from the fourth floor up to the sixth floor. And then, oh, sorry, from sixth floor to fourth floor. And then by the Christmas tree, we stopped and we sang two Christmas songs. It was really, really fun to see all the employees. So I was like, what? <laughs> and took a lot of pictures. And we, have, we also have movie clips of them walking down. So we didn't have many CEOs in the room, but we had a lot of managers uh, and leaders. So this is for you to pick up. This is really good for the employees. Let me just pass it on. They Actually, love it. the one in the front, the bride, that's our former CFO. He's two meters tall. Um, <laughs> like Michael. Yeah, yeah kind of like Michael. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but again, as I said in the beginning, we've seen a lot of companies who want to do this and say, we want to do, this, do it, but, but they, they don't succeed like you have succeeded. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the most important reasons why you succeeded this good is that you put everything into a plan, like Michael said in the beginning. So you have a yearly project plan. Yes, we do. So, um, and I think, Christina, will you please explain, because <laughs> most of this is in Danish. Yeah, well, so. this is our project plan for 2018. Um, we make one every year, and it actually has to be uh, approved by uh, our CEO. He has to say, okay, this is a good plan for this year. Like, any other plans. We are good at these projects in, uh, in SEB, so that's why we found it uh, most familiar to, to do this happiness at work also as a project. Um, this plan, it contains all of uh, the um, activities and uh, initiatives for the new year. You can clearly see um, when we have meeting and who's responsible, um, and you can see that some of the activities, they run all year. That's kind of like Tessa's daily jokes. Um, but there are also events for a smaller period of time. Um, yeah, and we really tend for them not to overlap each other because our experience now tells us that if we have more than one big activity for our colleagues to participate in, it, will, it can be kind of stressful for them. So that's also something that we learned. So this project plan, it, it actually worked. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And why do you think that, how, how, how did it work? What did it do? And for us, it's easy to, we come up with a lot of ideas. We do a lot of brainstorm and then we decide, okay, what to do. Put it in a plan, then we know when to do it and who is going to be responsible for this particular activity. And then you just trust in your teammates to, uh, to succeed with the activity. So would you also agree that a part of why it worked was that you had a great support from the CEO of the company? Yeah. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think um, I have a very important question that everybody's thinking of. Did you try something that didn't work? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Will you share? We, we did uh, actually two things. We did a high five zone and a hopscotch. And none of it worked at all. People were looking at us like we were stupid and saying, what is this? <laughs> so the only thing we actually did was just laughing, but we all peeled off the tape from yeah. the floor. And it's like, mm, never again. Okay, let's try something else. Exactly. Yeah, And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you try things and they don't yeah. have any effect on people and then you do something else. Then yeah. you learn from that. So, but I also want to hear, what impact has this done to you, to you as a person that no, we don't have? So what impact has it done? How have it, what have it, has it done for you girls? I know a lot of people that I wouldn't know otherwise. So I talk to a lot of people that I, there are completely different di divisions. Because I spend a lot of time on all three floors, I talk to a lot of people. Normally I wouldn't do that because I would just be in the... With the, the closer teams. Exactly. Yeah, so meeting more people, more the, yes. building relationships. That's exactly. also the impact it has on the entire organization, yeah. plus that we are all together in this uh, happiness at work group. Everybody knows the group, and even yeah. though you're not, uh, not participating in the group, you're still proud to say that at my place of work, we have this group. Yeah, and I know that you told me that it gives you energy and yeah. it's a big it's a it's kick. A, it's yeah. a kick for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it really is. So, uh, and 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 uh, is it that you don't have to do the same amount of work as the other guys in the company? You have to do just as much as everybody yeah. else. So, exactly. but actually, it's fun when we have been having a meeting. I can. Yeah. If I've had a bad morning and we have a meeting in the group, I go back and I'm much happier and much more excited and then I do a lot more than I've yeah. done in the beginning of so, the day. So it had an, has an impact of you guys in the group, but mm. also on the entire organization. Yeah. Yes, of course, because all this motivation is contagious. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, I'm so lucky when I'm doing the workshop tomorrow, giving you a practical tips. Uh, I'll bring these two girls so you can also ask them a lot of questions and they all will give you even more practical tips. Thank you very much for joining me and see you all tomorrow. Yeah.